Hey, Kelly File exclusive now. New reaction to the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, highlighting a campaign to get a 9-11 family member dumped from her position as a member of the 9-11 Museum Board of Directors. Deborah Burlingame is the sister of Captain Charles Burlingame, who was the pilot of one of the hijacked planes that was flown into the Pentagon. She's also the co-founder of 9-11 Families for a Safe and Strong America and has worked for some time now to help 9-11 family members uh, and survivors and done a lot to counteract terrorism in this country. And yet, the Council on American Islamic Relations, Deborah, appears to want you gone, highlighting some kid in California's push on change.org to get you bounced from the museum board because of some controversial tweets you sent out. I'll give the audience a flavor of what they're objecting to. Here's one. When are citizens going to rise up and demand the government acknowledge that Islam is a transnational threat, that government denial is killing us? They think you are an Islamophobe. I, I am hard-pressed to deny it. I, I think that the term is not Islamophobe is used to um, silence people, frankly. I've said that over and over and over. It's a made-up term. There's no such thing as um, a, a, a rational fear of, of Islam or Muslims when we know that virtually 80% of terrorist attacks in the world are committed by radical Muslims who are motivated by what they deem to be um, an imperative from their religious sacred text, the Quran or the Hadith. We saw this exact same thing happen with Ayan Hirsi Ali, right. where Care and these, uh, some other groups pushed to get her honorary degree and her speaking opportunity revoked uh, from Brandeis University because she had made controversial comments not about radical Islam but about Islam. Now. You seem to sort of speak to Islam in your, the first part of your answer, but well, then narrow it to radical Islam well, in the second part. You know, one thing um, I've learned in, in all these years is one of the reasons it's very, very difficult to talk about this is because the people that we're up against deliberately make it difficult. Um, they try to obscure uh, the differences between the, the radicals uh, who uh, impose violence on innocent people and and people who follow Sharia to what there's a there's a there's a um, uh, Sharia isn't the same in every country and, it, and there are different degrees of Sharia there is um, a pious Sharia which goes to diet uh, dress um, and then there's Sharia, which imposes harsh punishments on people for adultery, uh, for immodest exposure of skin if you're a woman, um, but, but death they, penalty for apostates. But they don't like any generalizations, because there's no question that there are, you know, millions of peace-loving Muslims on the planet. What they don't like a generalization about Islam or Muslims as radical or as Islamists or as something that would be connected to terror. Yes, well, I think what, what the problem is is that they've made it very difficult for the conversation to have any conversation in which we use the word Islam. It, for instance, they want you fired. At, at, at the museum, there is a seven-minute film that they object to that uses the term jihadi, that uses the term um, uh, Islamic uh, terrorism. Let me ask you this, though, Deborah. Do, do you find it somewhat ironic that a group like CARE wants to take the moral high ground on this issue with somebody like you, a 9-11 family member who had a brother die in, in, in the 9-11 attacks. Well, I have to say, Megan, that, you know, my brother was killed in the cockpit of his plane by men yelling, Allahu Akbar. We heard the, those words on the, the United 93 cockpit tape yelling, Allahu Akbar. The, the men who killed my brother left documentation explaining that this was the religious imperative from the Quran to do it. Um, we heard from Osama bin Laden afterwards. These They, they do, viewed themselves as deeply religious. So to try and separate them from that, I think, is really a form of insanity. That That is the phobia that we face, is, is, is to talk about uh, Islam and the fear of telling the truth about it. I think if they think that they can get away with silencing someone like me, um, they will silence other people. And their real target isn't Americans, it's Muslims. It's peaceful, nonviolent Muslims that they want to instill fear in. I want to tell the viewers that the museum is standing behind Deborah. They have no plans to dismiss her. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back.